Well, today marks the 170th anniversary of Harriet Tubman's self-liberation from her enslavement on the Eastern Shore. Sean Stryker traveled to the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center just outside of Cambridge to learn more. Governor Hogan has proclaimed September as International Underground Railroad Month, and one of the most successful underground railroad conductors was born right here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Standing at just five feet tall, Harriet Tubman is looked at by many as a giant. She made choices that had a positive impact on our nation and really changed the world. Born a slave in Dorchester County, Maryland, she personally led 70 slaves to freedom. Harriet Tubman is a figure that we should admire and emulate. She would go on to be a scout, spy, and nurse in the Civil War and a fighter for women's rights. Her desire to see all things equal and justice is incredible. Surrounded by the landscape she grew up in, the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center gives you a look at her life. It's just something that everyone should know about, whether you were black, white, Chinese, or whatever color. It's just history. By going through here and seeing the interactive displays and everything, it was just a fabulous uh, insight into her life. Now, this park is a great jumping off point to explore Maryland's underground railroad history. In total, there are 83 network to freedom sites in the state, with more being added. We have more National Underground Railroad Network to Freedom members or sites in Maryland than any other state in the country. And you can visit many of those sites on driving tours throughout the state. The Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Visitor Center is open seven days a week. This weekend, they have several special events planned, including a reenactment of Harriet Tubman's life. Reporting from Church Creek, Maryland, I'm Sean Stryker for WJZ.